to have Brian Harrison, director here on the Zoom. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. So lead Thank us you through. So much. Uh, sir, we have a tradition here. We scream hua when we count to three, and then we sit down. I don't know if you understood all of that stuff. Did sure. you? Sure. Sort of? OK, we're going to count to three first. Let's go with the flow. Yes, let's go with the flow. One, two, three. Hua. <laughs> So right. I'm freaking out, yeah. huh? Uh, oh. So I've actually had the chance to interview Brian before. Um, he did a very uh, state-of-the-art video uh, a couple oh. of years ago where he used, I think it was the Google Dream Animator. Uh, what's yeah, it? yeah, it was a video for a band called, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> years and years. Right. And um, yeah, we used artificial intelligence was part of the programming was the Google Deep Dream. Yes. Amazing. Because wow. you're very influenced by psychedelic experiences and, and, and yeah. you do a very good job of implementing them into your yeah. film. Um, tell us about uh, Hell Follows. Well, Hell Follows uh, is quite different than, than the other music video uh, that I did. Hell Follows is a short film that is taken uh, from a feature script that I wrote, um, really from a novel that I wrote. It is a, like a little novella, about 90 pages. And this short film is... that is, the black as hell, dark as night? Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. That's right. That's right. So originally I wrote this little novella that contained this story, uh, in a few other stories, and then I wrote the feature script for it, and then we pulled this kind of, what do you want to call it, a nightmare sequence from the script, and we made this short film. Oh, um, gosh. How long is a short film? It's about uh, 11 minutes uh, sequence, and um, it's in Japanese. Okay. I call it a, a psychedelic Japanese gangster movie. Wow. wow. That's what it is. So why, why this Japanese um, art? Like, what, what inspires yeah. you to, to do that with this? Well, you know, everybody has, I think, filmmakers and, and artists in general, they write, they have certain things that inspire them, right? And I just happened to grow up uh, heavily influenced by Japanese cinema, Asian cinema, but Japanese in particular. And so f from being a very, very young boy, like the age of six, usually, you know, around there, six, five, six, I was introduced to these uh, Japanese films, kind of these avant-garde type films and also bloody samurai movies, things like this. and. Um, so my love for it just grew from there, and, and my knowledge just grew and grew. And hey, you're probably making, uh, I, I want to bring it back to your film work, but um, at the top of the show, we were yeah. talking about assumptions that Latinos have to deal with, and she yeah. was saying that she mm -hmm. sometimes has to deal with people not fe thinking or assuming that she's Mexican, and then when she explains it, yeah. they, they question her on it. <laughs> right. You guys might not realize this, but my man here is of Cuban descent, just right. like me. Oh, we're practically related. Oh, cool. He oh, might not no. look it. Who's yeah. Cuban? Who's Cuban in the family? My father. Okay. My father's uh, side, awesome. yeah. So do you speak Spanish? No, no, it's not as good as it should be. No, uh. no, not at all. <laughs> uh, <Humberto said. laughs> but I pretty much understand everything, you know. Over the years, I've lost uh, the ability to speak it. But I, at one time, I spoke a bunch of languages. At oh, one wow. time, I spoke Chinese. That's gone. Uh, I spoke Jap some Japanese. That's gone. You know, Japanese is coming back, though, uh, mm -hmm. which is good, because obviously I'm working in Japanese. But... Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, yeah. So, what, what, now, were, what were you asking? What, what, why, you know, your your film work, whether it's music videos, short films, features, yeah. you you definitely, it's very visual. It's very. There's a lot of things going on, and the visual stuff that you work on, there, it's not just um, uh, ornamental. It's not yeah. just you know to entertain you. There's there's something to it. Why do you feel that that kind of uh, technique is important in your film work? Well. I think that as an artist maybe in general or people who want to make and create things, right? The, the number one thing that you have to find uh, in creating something is your own kind of voice, your own style, right? And so, yeah, a lot of the things that I do are heavily stylized. But to do them just for style's sake, is that's in one category. Mm -hmm. To do them because they have meaning or they're influenced by something that's happening in front of you and connecting that style with the meaning behind it is the ultimate goal, right? Um, are you really asking me why my stuff is, is heavily stylized as compared to just run of the mill type things? Yeah. The answer to that is probably because my whole life when you know everybody's been going right, I go left. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I've lost a lot times like that but I've won a lot of times yeah. like that you know and I think that I, it's just my personality you know I just I'm not trying to go into a line of sheep I'm trying to be a wolf I don't I don't know if well, that makes sense or is, not. is there is there an intended response sort of from you know from what you do like yeah. do you want the audience to feel a certain type of way especially with this project I mean I felt overwhelmed yeah to start but well the but, trailer is supposed to be yeah. overwhelming I mean okay. I, I call it I don't call it a trailer or a teaser, I call it 
an assault preview. I mean, it's supposed, <laughs> it's supposed to be an assault on your senses. Great, yeah, so it was. Yeah, that's the idea. And do you get off on that when people actually react that way to your productions? Sure, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, everybody has a different reaction. If you're used to seeing things like this, if you're used to that style of, uh, of cinema, then you really like it. Some people are disgusted by it, I guess, you know, or it makes you feel weird. It uh, makes me feel weird. Right. Well, that's I was the, like, <gasps> so does that, anything so disgust that, you? So that's the intention of it. Like, when you watch that uh, little piece, that 30-second uh -huh. piece, I want you to walk away from it feeling a little bit... Um, yeah. Disturbed. A little, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little sick For in your sure. stomach. <laughs> a little, uh, You're yeah. also bringing yeah. a, a kind of yeah. psychedelic elements to people who might not otherwise try psychedelic yeah. experiences. Yeah, that's true, And true. then they experience new things themselves that they yeah. need to explore. They realize, oh, right. maybe you know, this is true about me and I should. Or right. maybe you go like, I never want to go there. Exactly. Wait, that's that, what it really so that, feels like <laughs> when you take a pill or something? What, that? Yeah. Well, no, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but like the film, though, is much more, I don't want to say it's conventional because it's not a conventional film. Uh, but it's much slower paced and, and, and uh, you know, you have Than the trailer. Yeah, okay. that, that is just a like, oh, let me hit you in the face, you know? I, mean, I got hit on the face. Oh. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> Honey, right? I'm not gonna tell you what I've been hit on the face with. And then you get the music on top like... of it with the death grips, you know, oh, and that's, yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what that is, but. Awesome, so yeah, yeah. Where, where can people where check can it out? We, yeah. Well, you can't see the short film yet because it's making a, um, you know, a film festival run right now, but you can go to hellfollows.com. You can see a bunch of stills. You can find out more about the short, you can find out, you know, about the feature film, which we're gonna be in Osaka in fall oh. shooting, and then, you know, all the information would be there. You know, you can find that out and find me on Instagram. I definitely suggest for people oh, that definitely. wanna see really cool, crazy stuff, follow him on, on social media, Brian sure, Harrison, yeah. and check out some of his older work too. It's pretty very, it's cool. Like things you've Ooh. done with the artificial intelligence. Yeah, awesome. And then you. from your social media, there's a link to, the, to your site and everything, right? Yeah, everything. Okay, yeah. cool. Thanks.